Sometimes I got to talk to the family members. I got to talk to the friends and family members. Um, I want to talk about attorney-client privilege, right? Attorney-client privilege. Attorney-client privilege basically is a rule that allows a client the ability to tell his attorney whatever they may want. Because the attorney is bound by attorney-client privilege not to say anything. Would obviously, there's always some minor exceptions. But for the most part, you confide in your attorney, you tell them what's going on, and then that attorney is sworn to that, right? Because if he goes around telling what his client told him, he could lose his license, right? He or she could lose their license, period, point blank. Why am I bringing this up? All right, so attorney-client privilege exists between the client and the attorney, the client and the attorney, not the client's friends, not the client's family members. Again, for the most part, there's always exceptions with stuff. I need y'all to understand the major point. So when you're talking to, you know, your loved one's attorney and you want to know information about the case and the attorney says, hey, I can't only talk to you about certain things because it's attorney-client privilege. It's to protect everybody, right? It's to protect everybody because if the attorney goes and starts telling you stuff, that messes up attorney-client privilege, then that information can come into court and then everybody can hear about it. It shouldn't be like that. So when an attorney is not telling you stuff, it's not because they're trying to be mean or be a jerk or just uh, move you out the way and not pay you no mind. That's not what it is. It's that they have to keep attorney-client privilege, right? They have to keep it. And they got to do their best to keep it. And so going into certain facts and details and certain things about the case is not something they can do. It's not something that is suggested or warranted. So again, it's for the protection of your loved one who your attorney who the attorney is representing right so understand that it's not the attorney trying to be an ass or something like that i just want you to keep that in mind attorney client privilege with all of this stuff right i'm giving you a snippet i'm giving you an idea of something with all of this stuff that you hear with these videos with these posts that i make google look up some of the stuff i'm talking about and see how it's relative to where you live and where you are so you can have a better understanding Granted, is it, it's not having a law degree, but it's still having the ap applicable information, right? So I post about, I talk about attorney-client privilege like I'm talking about now. After you listen to this video, Google, I want to understand attorney-client privilege better. What, what is the basic understanding of it? How does that work? Why is it going to play? And again, just understand, you know, every state's different. Um, they have little, every state has little nuances to things about stuff. But generally, this is the rule. But again, feel free, whatever I'm, telling you about, consult with another attorney in your area about, or just look it up to kind of have a basic understanding. Um, the end, the beginning and end of your knowledge about it, about something doesn't have to be at this video, right? You could, this is just the beginning, right? From this, you can look at other stuff. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that because I think it's important. Attorney client privilege. Lawyers try to protect that and keep that. That's why they don't tell you all the details about stuff.